In this video, we'll be looking at the effective annual rate, or in short, we call it EAR. So let's say Laura made an investment of $20,000 today and expects to have $50,000 in her account by the end of 10 years. So calculate the compounded annual growth rate of her investment. So of course, uh, we will assume that it's uh, compounded annually since it's not mentioned here, that's by default. So you invest uh, $20,000 today, okay, and then you, at the end of 10 years, you will have $50,000. Okay, so $20,000 invested today and 50,000 in the future. So when to find out what's the rate of growth, okay, uh, for it to achieve this target or this future value. So using your financial calculator, so we'll enter, so just press second FV to clear the time value of money worksheet. So we'll first key in 20,000, okay, so I'll, I'll key in as a negative PV since we invested this. And then the N will be equal to 10 for 10 years. And then uh, we have PMT, which is zero since there's no annuity amounts in the middle. And then future value will be 50,000. Okay, so that's positive. So our PV is negative and FV is positive. So then compute IY, then we'll get 9.596% uh, per annum. Okay, so this is the EAR. Okay, this is the 9.596% per annum. Okay, so that's the rate of growth every year in order for this 20,000 to grow to 50,000 in 10 years' time. So some people do call this as Kager as well, okay, which is the compounded annual growth rate. Now let's look at another example. So let's say this time Laura made investment of $20,000 today at a rate of 10% per annum and compounded quarterly for six years. So I'll calculate the effective annual rate of her investment. So uh, the formula for EAR will be to take one plus the annual stated rate okay, uh, annual percentage rate, which is 10%, uh, then we divide by the compounding frequency, which is in this case quarterly, and then we uh, raise it to the power m, which is the compounding frequency, then we minus 1. So for this case, our annual percentage rate or the stated rate is 10%, and the compounding frequency quarterly means m is equal to 4, 4 quarters a year, and then we compound it for the whole year, which is 4 quarters, then we minus 1. Now using the calculator, so we'll just key in uh, 1 plus 10%, percent point one divide by 4, so that's 1.025 to the power of 4, then minus 1. Okay, so that's 10.38%. Uh, so that's our EAR. So that's the effective rate of growth per year, okay, assuming a, compound, a quarterly compounding basis. Now of course the calculator has a built-in function that you can use to compute EAR. So to get to that built-in function, you press second and two to get the into the interest conversion function. And then you have norm, you have a CY, which is compounding frequency per year. And then if I go up, there's effective rate or the EAR. Now the norm here will be the stated rate, which is 10%. Let's click in 10 here. And then we'll go up. The compounding frequency is quarterly, so that's four. And then we scroll up. So your effective rate here, you press compute, CPT, and then you'll get 10.38%. Okay, so that's an easy way of getting the effective annual rate.